Good day, viewers. We are welcome to the White Lady TV show, and my name is Abu Ventil Manuwa. Here with me is Ajidu Precious. And today we are going to be talking about sex before marriage. So, Precious, what do you think about sex before marriage, and what effect is it to take on our society? I feel that sex before marriage is not ideal. It is wrong for a teenager or a youth to have sex before marriage. I don't feel it is right because the consequence of sex before marriage um, can lead to producing uh, polygas and and those most products of sex before marriage are those children that bring that the polygas that eventually to kidnapping, theft, robbery, and so on in our society. So, according to my own perspective, I think sex before marriage should not be introduced to youth and teenagers by this early stage of their life. They should focus on their education, put God first, and then when they are of age, then they can venture into anything they want to do. And also, do you think your family beliefs can, can influence your, your own idea about sex before marriage? Yes, it can. In what way? Because my family's belief is that you can't have sex before marriage. You can't even have a boyfriend or a girlfriend to start with. You can't go into all those sexual relationships. You can't dive into them. You have to focus on your studies, focus on how to make more money, and how to develop your life better. So yeah. sex before marriage is out of it. Yes, at least you should be able to do something that. When an outsider sees you doing it, outsider tells you from your family's proud of you doing it and not the other one. Also, do you think sex before marriage has a positive effect on the society? No, I do not think so. Can you kindly state your reasons? Because sex before marriage, okay, let's go back to the boyfriend and girlfriend part. If you're in a relationship, certain Feelings and hormones are going to develop your body. Like lust, you develop like lust tends to take place. You have to have a feeling for someone. Then you have sexual feeling. Like you want to have sexual intercourse with the person. Then after that, after that feeling, you have um, you find yourself doing what you're not supposed to do. Yeah, the urge. Having the urge for that, for you. having lust towards someone or something, then it leads to either rape. Or teenage pregnancy or sexual marriage, which tends to destroy the yeah. yes. Yeah. Okay, so what do you think is the cause of most teenage girls going into having sex before they are ripe enough for marriage? Two, number one is peer pressure. Most girls nowadays tend to mix themselves in in bad friendship. Like bad relationships, they they tend to be over overdriven by their peers, influenced badly by their peers, and it's not good. Because once they, they, um, their friends tell them that uh -uh, I don't need to do this, we're already doing it now, just this protection and all of them, then it tends to ruin the girls' life. And number two is lost and um, lack of self control for the boys. Most boys can't control themselves. Lost has overdue them like ah so that's what I think about. From my own perspective, I think not being contented is what you have. Because we are in a society whereby different things are occurring are uh, occurring and occurring. Like you know, now we have a new pieces of iPhone, new designer of dr new dresses, designers, and most girls now when they see their mates using okay, if my friends using this certain iPhone, I also want to add, and then you'll meet their parents. Their parents are like, okay, I don't have this money for this type of iPhone you want, but I have the money for another one. And then they'll be like, no, 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 it's this one that my friend is using that one. And so their parents can provide for them. Surely you will see those guys. With deceit in their eyes and lost feelings, and they'll be like, Okay, if you do this thing to me, if you have sex with me, I'm going to get to whatever you want. And lack of contentment will make them venture into that, that thing that they're supposed to do and have sex. And the end product of this thing is that if the girls are not used for ritual, they will, their, their future will be, will be destroyed, or they will have teenage pregnancy, 
and, and they won't be able to abort their pregnancy. It will be a shameful thing to them. And those products of teenage pregnancy are those children now that they are, that they are destroying our society at large. So, I think, Precious, what do you think about, what can you say to teenagers out there about sex before marriage? What can I say? What word of advice do you have to say? Okay, my word of advice is that you should abstain from sex before marriage. You will still have sex one day in life. When you get married, you shall still have sex if you desire to. So you can, you just need to abstain from it. Make up your mind that lust shall not drive you, lust shall not overtake you, that you shall be your own self. Go into a friendly and mutual, educative relationship with someone. Not that you go there just for sex, just for sexual intercourse. I feel that you guys, my word of advice is that you guys should abstain from it. And one word for our parents is that you should always try to put your children in a godly way and train them to be what you want them to be in the future. To produce good products to our society and not the one that will bring negative ones. So today we've come to the end of the White Lady TV show and we hope to see you another day. And we hope with these few words of ours we have been able to convince teenagers out there and our parents that sex before marriage is not advisable. Thank you.